pose before bros. Well, it's pretty tricky ah. to follow that rule when you seem to have slept with a half of Los Angeles. Jesus! And yet you begrudge me the one man I've cared about in a really long time. And yet I still gave him up. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Tiffany and welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy my Lucifer content, please remember to like the videos, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon that's next to it because that'll alert you when a new video has been posted. Also check out the description below because you can find uh, the links to my uh, my Lucifer uh, playlist. And you can also find links to my other socials so you can drop me some support over there as well. And I need you to leave your comments in the comment section. Guys, by doing everything that I've just listed, this lets YouTube know that you enjoy my content, therefore they will push it out more. So the shout out for this video goes to Sandra Scott. Thank you so much for taking the time out to comment on my last episode, last video. So guys, I'm back. Yeah, um, you know me with season three. You guys, I've already made my concerns known. Um, so last episode we had um, the Cain and Abel episode. Um, it didn't go the way I expected that reunion to go. It was an interesting premise. I just didn't care for the execution of it. It did leave more questions um, that needs to be answered. Um, so we know for the first time that we know of as an audience that Lucifer has broken a deal. And he broke that because in this, I'm glad he actually got it to, got to the realization himself again that if he does this, Chloe's life will continue to be in danger because there's the possibility that God will take back his protection of Chloe and let her die. I don't see that happening, but again, that is now in the back of his mind, so he's being very careful. We saw, um, it was, it, it was interesting that the way of how they told the Abel and Cain story, I'll give them that, for the fact that there was a possibility that it could have been able with the mob because it made it seem as though these two brothers were at each other's throats and it just happened that Cain got the upper hand in their squabble that he was the first to inflict um, a kill but it seems as though these brothers were never close to begin with so that was an interesting turn of events it now leads the question of what now happens with Cain what was the purpose of Kane's being brought into in season three? Because that's the one, like, with mom, when you brought mom in, it made sense. It made sense. Because season two practically tied in with season one. Well, the, season three kind of seems like it's so... I don't want to use the word unnecessary yet, but it seems so detached from everything that we had in season one and two. It's like, so why is he here? Yes, we know he, he at first you, you told us that he, you brought him in because he thought that Chloe would be able to help him. So it, when cause she heard an angel, but then she's no longer being of use. You then made him have a um, contract with with Lucifer, which Lucifer has not broken. So it's like, what is um, what is going to happen now with Cain? What is his purpose? Is he not going to be the bad guy? Is he just a character you wanted to bring in and see how people react to him or what? It's like, and then you, you ended last episode in a very abrupt way of Abel dying. So it's like, what happened? And you guys in the comments made a very interesting point that the way they introduce hell is that you in hell if you feel guilt so your guilt will constantly torture you and but but Cain said he will never go to hell because it's like I don't I'm not guilty I don't feel guilt of killing Abel so either Lucifer don't really know how the hell works or if hell does work that way where do people like serial killers go because serial killers, most serial killers 
majority of serial killers are sociopaths, psychopaths. Therefore, they don't have a conscience, so therefore they don't feel guilty. Where they go? So I guess that question needs to be answered. Where do they go if you don't feel guilty? Because you definitely can't tell me can't go in heaven. Because that will be a trip out of this world. But it is what it is with season three. So we're going on to episode uh, 17, and it's called Let Pinhead Sing. <sighs> it, it already sounds like a filler. With that being said, let's jump into this episode. The world of dance. I'll put it on. She wanna look like a, a, a skinny light skinned Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer um not Jennifer Lopez, Jennifer Hudson. What in God's blazes? Twin? Somebody help! Okay. I've decided to take myself out of the spotlight. Oh, no more killing Pierce to get back at your dad. Correct. There are far better ways to spend my time. Oh? Yes. I, well, I could brew my own artisanal beer or take a nude painting class. Why, that pet shark I've always wanted. Oh, please don't. Maybe you're taking a step back because of the bomb scare that threatened both you and Chloe. Don't be mm. ridiculous. We're in the line of fire every day, Doctor. I mean, it's all part of being heroes for the people. Don't get me wrong. If the bomb was God targeting Chloe for your defiance, then maybe it's good that you're quitting. Quitting is a strong word. What, putting on the point 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 shelf? Push boundaries, we shouldn't. It's only fair we take our share of responsibility in a conflict, even if the other is somewhat irrational. Oh, please don't talk about yourself. Demonic, even. Indeed. Maybe even apologize. Well, let's not go crazy. <laughs> but perhaps I can stop poking the bear that is my father. Yeah, leave it alone. His radar for a bit, you know. I feel like he can't do it though. I close my eyes. What do you want, Lopez? You know, I just noticed that you may be a little blue. Oh. How is she allowed to wear the shirt she wore? She wears. To cheer you up, I went around the precinct and asked everyone to write a positive little note about you. Why? So that whenever you're feeling down, you can just pull one out and it'll perk you right up. Now, how do you know like, everyone did that? Maybe now. Pierce has nice arms. Well, agreed. The lieutenant has really great arms. Right oh. again. Two arms, two compliments. Mm hmm. Another one. Great arm. Pierce. So funny, generous, and because they know amazing. nothing about him. Now that is a compliment. It says I have really nice arms, doesn't it? Yeah. Nah, nah, because that'd be really awkward. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I've been trying so hard to cheer up Pierce, but this is some next level bro wallow. You gotta get in there and do something. Isn't really a fan of me. Well, then this is your chance to change that. Why? Yeah. And if anyone knows what it feels like to be in the crapper, it's you. Wow, El. What I mean is you can relate, okay? But when you're down, you always, always pull yourself back up. You got this. Do you really? Oh, oh no, sweetie, stop singing. Okay, I'm a little confused here. One of the backup dancers was dressed as Azara? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't it, really it probably doesn't happen like that. It was not a Ah, 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 ah. You're the manager. So was this the first time she had switched? Yeah. She didn't say anything to anyone on the crew, except for Jill, of course. Yeah, and if no one knew, that means Azara was the intended target. It, maybe it was an accident. Yeah. It wasn't. This is a piece of big time professional firework from far away. Ooh, from up close. Ah! Fireworks weren't even part of a Zara show. Does this mean we're canceling the Asia and the Europe tours? Not panic until we know exactly what happened here. Jill's dead, bro. Yeah, hey, I was like, supposed to be a Zara. You see? These managers won't make money off of you, don't care. Yes. The spotlight is dangerous. Uh oh. <laughs> Who am I killing? I'm not mellow. I can take the detective out of mine and focus on other people. Huh? What are you talking about? Nothing. So you're a Zara's bodyguard, are you? Now, I've always had an interest in the personal protection business, Rob. Bob. Bob. 
lovely getting to know you like this. Your hopes, your dreams. <laughs> been working out as well. Oh, la, Elizabeth. Are you coming? Stop touching uh, people. No, nah, I'm not really interested in you and what you're doing. We should go upstairs. <coughs> Bobby. <coughs> now she's saying The best weed. It's sage. I'm smudging my space and my heart. And my lungs. It actually changes the ionic composition of the air and reduces the body's stress response to tragic events. There is one guy who did kind of threaten me. I mean, I didn't take it seriously at the time because he's a bit of a diva, but... Patrick. And who might Patrick be? My ex, backup singer. Not her bringing a, um... Would that be an ex? As a present? It's me, Linda. Come on, Ace. I don't want to lose you, May. I'm so... I, I lost him in a deal. This man is worth what we have. If you smile, you're a bitch. Please, just hear me out. Oh, excuse us. I think we're in the wrong interrogation room. You're looking for Patrick Manning? Yes. That's me, honey. Oh. I see someone stole some of Azara's spotlight and fishnets. I was like, why am I here? I'll ask the questions, Patty. Oh, I always knew Cher was a feisty one. We believe that Patrick made an attempt on Azara's life last night and killed a backup dancer by mistake. Say what? You still had the backstage security pass, which means access and motive. Yes, cold-blooded retaliation for your research. What if they were RuPaul? Oh, that's bananas. It was a bitch to work for that bitch. The long hours, never getting credit, but she did not fire me. <laughs> I quit. And that's not the story her people are telling. I bet. Those sycophants will say anything to protect her fragile ego. Well, Patrick, or Patty, what did you desire? Uh, to be a Zara. But my version. A better version. Which is why I could never want her dead. How could I compete with her if she was kaput? Okay. Who were you last night? On stage. Performing my act at the hideaway in WeHo. After which she was mobbed by fans in the parking lot. Everyone wants a piece of Azara 2.0. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the obsessive wannabes. Fans. I'd do anything to meet you, literally anything. Gosh, I can't think of anyone I care about that much. Except for Miss Lopez. World's greatest forensic scientist? <laughs> How sweet. I don't. Did I miss my birthday? Well, every day is a celebration when you. I birthday. don't get what he's doing. This um, is this episode. Well, I've gone through them all, and on a scale of hashtag I love you, Azara, to I want to live in your spleen, there's like a zillion suspects. Uh, living your spleen. One, if you count me. You weren't even aware of her. We're not just looking for a crazy fan. We need someone who had an all-access pass. Well, Azara's assistant. Let me check out all of her social media accounts. And apparently, she held an online contest last week. Meet our winner, Benny Parker, and these are some of his tweets. I will make you Jesus. way. You and I will be together forever. Ah, uh, no, nah, poor Pauline. Pauline? Hit my friend who works the intake desk at the precinct. I'm helping her for a bad breakup. I know what you're doing. Our bomb scare made you realize just how dangerous this job is. And that you and I could lose each other at any time. So you're focusing on other people. Okay. You're keeping your distance. I was trying to figure what he's doing. Protecting it. yourself. And you know what, Lucifer? That's cool. I just realized I've been a tad myopic lately. Why not spread the love? Mm. I mean, everyone deserves a little Lucifer. Do they? Thank you very much. After me. <laughs> not after me. Wait, this man live here? Benny Parker, LAPD. It's a nice bum. I'm not the only one ignoring you. Oh, Actually, shit. Just not that interesting, detective. He's dead, isn't he? Benny. He committed suicide because she died? Azara's art celebrates life. I tarnished it with death. I have no right to stay in her world. I lived for Azara. Now, I die for her. Really, Ella? Benny. The ME confirmed that it's suicide. Still running the autopsy report, but the bottle of sleeping pills found in his hand, half empty. Right, and factor in Benny's VIP pass, which means he had access. Oh, look what just arrived. Who wants a t-shirt? Definitely for you. 
Yeah. I'm afraid you'll have to take it up with the police commissioner, because apparently he and Azara are poker buddies. It's all been sorted. Azara Bubblehead. I'm not gonna die no more! Oh, Jesus, Tom, don't do that. deserving of this little, uh, my good friend, Mr. This man really old hair ignoring Chloe. That should cheer you up. I think you'll be very proud. I forced myself to speak to a co-worker who has terrible breath. It was probably only for a few minutes, but it seemed like a decade. <laughs> Clearly something's on your mind. Come on, I'm all ears. I am so sorry. <laughs> um, but you're paying me to listen. Um, <laughs> okay, fine. Um, I'm, I'm just having a wee bit of a conflict with, uh, with a friend of mine. My specialty. True. Mediating conflict, I mean. <laughs> we knew what you meant. That's very nice. It's a very nice offer. I know. And it feels so strange. It, it feels so good. It's like I'm floating. Might be the three gimlets I had at lunch. What the hell is gimlets? So, yes? Alcohol? Benny died the day before that firework exploded. Ooh. So, Benny is not our killer. This month's winner is Pauline. <laughs> and I think we can all agree that Pauline deserves her place in the spotlight. So if you'd all like to raise a glass, if you have one, to Pauline. Lucifer knows she's a temp, right? No. Yeah, just tell him to meet me in the car. I don't know exactly what you're going through, but I've been there. That very stool, actually. You know, really opening up to someone? I mean, that's... What I did. And He's now so I scruffy looking up. No, seriously, man, I'm happy. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to start dating. You and I are even friends. <laughs> um, no. Bring me your. Lay it on me. I'm here for your job. <laughs> Just life, you know? It's like this eternal wasteland of meaningless existence. Oh, shit. A dark void. I mean, Dan, you can't help. Go sit down. I mean, go away. Dogs scrounging on the side of the road. Maybe we all are just us in the wind. Oh Jesus, you go you, you gonna add to, you gonna add to the sorrow. I am not canceling my show. Well it turns out that your troubled fan was framed for Jill's murder. Detective. Now, I say we let Pinhead sing. I mean, oh, okay. People are just destined to be in the spotlight. Detective, what are you doing? This, this is no time for heroics. But I care. I'll just have a sit down. Uh, I'm fine. Your partner's actually going with the medic. Huh? Oh, her. Uh, no, that's, uh, that's just a scratch. No, it's you that I'm focused on. There's no show. While you're in danger, you're under 24 hour LAPD protection led by me. That's ridiculous. Well, we found in the laundry chute. I'm gonna head back to the homestead to expedite ballistics. You wanna come? Excellent plan. Why don't you go with Miss Lopez and I will keep you safe? Hmm. We'll see. Okay, the only reason I'm agreeing to this is hiding Zara at your penthouse is an unpredictable choice. But listen, if there's even the slightest hint that she is unsafe, your duties are revoked. <laughs> you said duties. <laughs> Come on. About two weeks ago, originally you tell her that for some reason... Bravo, Mrs. Zara. Need to rehearse. No, yes, of course, of course, whatever you need. Right, then, <laughs> why don't you um you wait downstairs? Maybe you can make yourself useful unless that's just a prop. <laughs> prop, please. Mozart, Liberace, Elton. Who? Oh, All Jesus. the greats were my pupils. But not as bright as you, of course. <sighs> Whatever. Oh my pupils, I just got what you said. <clears throat> See. La 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 Don't let it happen again. I won't. <laughs> What is happening? Voice of an angel. No, it's not. Your A flat was another tune. Perhaps it's you who's. Is she out of tune? Pitch allows you to hear what others cannot. Wait, no, no, no. Aren't you gonna wash them first? Rinse off all the nutrients. Don't be silly. Ew. You can't make it without the right ingredients. I couldn't agree more. Just let me do it. Please, forget it. I'm just... You don't even know what you're doing. Just... Oh. Do this, Mrs. Zara. You 
got to be kidding me. It's you. What? The gun that we found at the Roosevelt. Turns out that it's registered to you. We also uncovered the insurance policy that you took out on Azara. Apparently, if anything happens to her, you get a huge chunk of change. Is that also insane? First of all, I would die if anything happened back there. How would I kill the goose for one egg? I don't know. You're under arrest for the murder of Jill Murray, Benny Parker, <clears throat> and the attempted murder of Azara. We will start by stating our grievances. Who would like to go first? She lied and betrayed me. Next. <laughs> Brave <laughs> start. Manzikin. Um, Maze is right. I hid the truth. All I can do is say, I'm sorry. Thank you, Doctor. That was really heartfelt. And now, is there anything that you'd like to apologize for, Mazaki? No. She just said she boned my ex. It always takes two to tango. Yeah, Linda and Amenadio, one, two, naked tango, me, screwed. Nobody likes losing a win. Not true. And I didn't do crap. Yeah. She called dips. On someone she doesn't even have feelings for. I'm a demon. What do you expect? You can't admit to a single thing you did wrong. I've done a lot of things wrong. Like, a lot. <laughs> but at least I don't claim to be the good one. Ooh, okay, I, I guess... Stand on some I kind of see what Ms. issue is now. All the books you've read, all the degrees on your wall, pose before bros. Well, it's pretty tricky ah. to follow that rule when you seem to have slept with a half of Los Angeles. Jesus! And yet you begrudge me the one man I've cared about in a really long time. And yet I still gave him up. That's how much I care about him. Go, go back to the deal. She don't care. Go to hell. Get back to the deal. Okay. Oh, hey. Great start. Um, go back to the deal. Let me process. alone. Good time for a breather. We're done. Yeah. Completely cut me as out. Your life is done with that. I was like. You know if you're going to make Maze go back to season one, Maze. Okay. Don't give a damn no more. What the earth? I always have sex the night before a show. It, it calms me. Well, I'm sorry, but you'd have to tie me down with steel chains to have sex with you. I'd be up for that. Oh, shit. No, what no, 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 suggestions? <laughs> I'm really not in the mood. Wow. He turned on a deal. He turned on sex. You know what? I don't think you like me. Really? Really? What I gave that away? That impression. But everybody likes me. Apart from the person who tried to rocket you into a bloody red glare. Why were you so hell-bent on being my bodyguard? Because he's being stupid. I'm trying to take my focus off someone very dear to me. <laughs> the detective you work with. How did you? I may be a self-centered diva, but I have eyes. Why are you trying to convince yourself that you don't like her? I'm not trying to convince my... You are. It's not me I'm trying to convince. It's my father. Well, I defied him, and he's big on that. Eye for an eye sort of thing. Afraid that he's going to come after the things that I care about the most. Well, you're a cop, sort of. Get a restraining order or something. Well, I'm afraid it's not that simple. Dad's all powerful. Works in government. Mm. Rules the universe. Freaking politicians. You can't let anyone come in between you and the things you're passionate about in this life. Thank you, my self centered diva, for your counsel. It's duly noted. <sighs> Great. What if she's, she's doing it to herself? I'm not sure if you're a single malt girl. It turns out. The manager didn't just kill Benny, he tortured him, too. So what does this mean here? Oh, right, sorry. Yeah, it's the chemical compounds. So first, he fed Benny raw turmeric. But this all sounds like ingredients for a smoothie. Yeah, smoothie of death. No, I don't think the manager's the killer. It's either her, it's either Azara or the other perky assistant. It's science, man. Uh, a buddy of mine's here. He's a real glass half full kind of guy. Actually, put me out of a dark spot. Oh, a lot. A minute deal and Kane. Uh, nope. A minute deal. Pierce. Or not. Uh, since you guys obviously already know each other, how about I just give you some time to catch up? I can't allow you to defy my father or drag my brother into one of your schemes to remove your mark. This ends now. Okay. I got my hopes up thinking that Decker was the key. And then Lucifer, but that's what the sinner man thought. 
Then I thought resurrecting Abel could end my curse. But I made a mistake. I was wrong. Because here I am, alive and well. well. Alive and miserable, actually. <coughs> you happy? Yes. Yes, because this means I did it. I destroyed your alliance with Lucifer. I prevented you from defying my father. I passed my what test. What test, you? You passed your test. Why don't you have your wings back? What well, test? My test has multiple parts. See, I spent a lot of time doubting myself, but now I realize that it's about the journey, not the destination. At first I was afraid I was petrified. Oh, damn, no. Isn't she supposed to be on lockdown? Uh, I'm calling Chloe. No, no. I mean, no need to get the detective involved. Give me the microphone. Go on now, go. Walk out the door. <laughs> they just want to talk to sing in this episode. I'm convinced, though. Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me with goodbye? Did you think I'd crumble? Oh, we Disney. Ever. You're gonna die. Huh? You. You were supposed to keep her safe. I did say he's either one of the two. The crazy assistant. The knife, CC. You're gonna hurt someone. Again, am I the only one who sees the irony here? You said you would take a break after the LA shows, and then you added Asia and Europe to the tour. That's two more years. I am tired of sharing you with Zara. Remember high school? You would sing. I, I would just watch and <coughs> cookie dough i want that you can't be a you child forever by now i love you love me cc what did you do she was trying to protect you force you out of the spotlight by any means necessary even murder I, I didn't know what else to do but you almost killed me how is that protecting me she was never trying to kill you so you know about the choreography switch I just wanted to scare you. No! No! Oh, damn! Lucifer, damn! I just wanted her to be safe. Scared me the crap. Don't do that. Don't do that, Lucifer, please. Scared the crap out of me there. Are oh, you stabbed? Who's the heroic one now? You stabbed. He stabbed. No, it's a fuck! Oh, God. It ain't. In your shoulder or your heart? You do, don't pull, pull it out! <sighs> when did he stab? Chest or uh, chest or shoulder? I think you're tackling somebody with a knife. Shoulder. Okay. 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 It's getting crap under me. You see, it's like I was saying, Pierce. You gotta have faith. Or if my brother, the devil, can have that. Maybe I can too. Jesus. Scared me. I was like in the heart. Uh oh. Okay, so this is how the Pierce and um Chloe thing gonna happen. He's gonna yeah, take Chloe true. from Lucifer. Hi. Lieutenant. Congratulations on another song. Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate that. You sent me two VIP tickets to say thank you. But well, you deserve them. So who are you taking? Oh, I don't know. It's just... I thought you'd never ask. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, now, now we see what Kane going Morning, to do. detective. What? What, you sure you don't want to throw a surprise party for the guy in evidence lockup? Uh, now I am back to status quo. Mm. Since I realized, ultimately, I can't control you. Or the world <laughs> around you, for that matter. There's no point trying to extinguish the proverbial spotlight, is there? Huh? Uh-uh. That's for Zara's show tonight. Excellent. All right, what time shall I pick you up? Um, well, it didn't seem like you were that interested in hanging out with me lately, so well, Pierce and I are going to go together. Oh. And here we go oh, no, with the three-way love interest. Wow. 
have fun. I see it took 17 episodes to finally bring it all to light. Okay. Yeah, cut me out your life now. Simple as that. I feel so bad for Lucifer. I think I've made a horrible mistake. Okay. Okay. At first, I was about to say I don't care for this episode. But coming down to the later part of the episode, I like the setup. I have a little, I have a few issues with it still. But, I gotta say, I... I actually surprisingly enjoyed the case. I actually did. I just need to check something. Who is that? Because she could sing. So, is she an actual singer or just an actress that can sing? Because you got people like that. Who can just, like, actresses that can sing, but they're not actually um, actresses. I mean, singers. So, I want to know if she's a real-life singer or if she's just an actress that can sing. Give me a minute. Just need a new. I need a new. Cause she has a beautiful voice. I've seen, yeah, I've seen a few pictures. I've seen her on YouTube. She has a lovely voice. I like her voice. So the, the case actually was interesting. I give it that. I give it that. Um, I feel like they just wanted Tom to sing again. They were like, we need an episode where we can get Tom to sing. I just feel like that was it. They were like, you know what? We're gonna get Tom to sing once again. What can we do to get Tom to sing again? Let's bring in a, a actress singer and get them singing together so that he could sing give him a reason so that was fun that was fun um yeah i kind of miss why lucifer was doing all that he's doing until chloe explained i'm like okay that makes sense now because at first i was like you're annoying but when i realized why he was doing that trying to get that spotlight it's so funny lucifer is so childish just because you take your attention off Lucifer does not, t I mean, Chloe, does not take away the past few years you've been with her in your father's eyes. So your father already knows what you're doing this. It's so obvious. It's like, he's such a child. He's so childish in his thinking. It's like, come on, let's look at the huge picture. Something drastically always have to happen for him to realize. Let me think like a big boy. Like me just randomly going to other people that I don't really know don't really care for does not let God know that Chloe's out your spotlight he still knows what he knows why you're doing this can you a bitch are you a bitch what I'm either you're a bitch or you are you as you are a lot like Lucifer in terms of taking things a little too literal pairs I mean Amina they only tells you this have faith look at what look at Lucifer is older than you and he's found someone that he cares for truly now you inter that interested in Chloe because at, at first you weren't interested in Chloe you you knew Chloe physically liked you because you look good but you didn't care for her like that but all of a sudden you realize the melody said that now you're going after Chloe so are you going after Chloe because you think she's going to give you that same feeling she's giving Lucifer or is this your way of getting back to at Lucifer is this for breaking the deal I need that to answer because if it's the if it's the first okay you shouldn't have done it but okay if you take things literally as Lucifer then yes I, I get why you're going after Chloe but if it's the latter you an asshole you an asshole I don't like you I don't like you I, I was getting to like your character I don't like you anymore because that really hurt Lucifer. You could see Lucifer, he's a hurt. And you know when Lucifer is hurt, he does stupid shit. We know this. We know this, people. We know this, people. He does do stupid shit when he's hurt. Last time he went away to um Las Vegas and married Candy. God, what he gonna do this time? And then, let me tell you something, Dr. Linda. Cut me off your life. Cut some friendships let okay let me say this i understand girl code i do i do 
But to me, I understand girl code if you were actually in love and in a relationship with that person. If you were just having one night stand, you don't have feelings for this person, you only caring that Amelia Deal and Dr. Lena were together because you feel possessive, you, you can't let anybody have what you have. And as Dr. Lena pointed out, well, that's going to be an issue because you slept with half of LA, which in this case, she could have. She could have. She's a demon. It's like, so what do you want me to do? It's like, in that scenario, cut cut me out your life. I'm sorry. Cut me out your life. I still love me as a character, but we, we, if you're going to treat Dr. Linda like that every time she comes on the screen, every time y'all have this monologue with each other, cut each other out your life. That's not your friend. And never once did Dr. Linda said she was good. Dr. Linda has only tried her best to help you. For you to just be mad for being mad sake, you no demon. You no demon that you claim to be. You 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 need you ain't no demon. Yeah, I'm 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 sick of the Dr. Linda Maze and, and Middle Deal drama. I am so sick of it. If you wanna break up their relation your their friendship, just break it off and let's go. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> we're the next set because it's 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 gone it's now been over 10 episodes of this drama and we can see that Miz is stuck in her way dr linda has apologized countless times she has done every step to get back in Miz's good graces and Miz is staying mad because she want to stay mad cut out your life let's move on now let us move on she broke the axe as a gift okay let's go friendship done let's move on now lucifer let's move on because the writing is now stagnant with that. It's like season three, y'all, y'all, if some, the way y'all writing season three is almost like y'all thought this show was going to get canceled way before. And then when they came back and say, oh yeah, we're giving you season three. You're like, ah, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? It, it feels rushed and it feels so rushed that it's only like when you realize you put out these episodes, y'all friend, oh, we could have a timeline. We could have something here. But it's taking y'all so much episodes to put out. And I was like, come on now. It, it can't, it, you, you just, you're making Lucifer go back to season one and back to season two, Lucifer. You're making Maze go back to season one, Maze, and then one, and then forgetting how growth in season two. It's like, y'all forgot the point. The only thing saving season three right now is the acting. But there was one episode where the acting was shit. Shit. I can't remember which episode. I think it's one of the episodes that I didn't even talk about in the end. It was like, the acting was shit. So the only saving grace is, is that you brought back characters that we like, and that's the only saving grace. That is it. Because at first, well, it was like, why is Kane here? Well, what you doing with Kane? Now it took y'all 17 episodes in a ep- in a season of 26. 17 episodes to get to the nitty gritty of what y'all are trying to do with Kane um, and, and Chloe and Lucifer relationship. 17 episodes. Y'all know how trash that is? In the hindsight of the, the work that you've put out, it took y'all 17 episodes. I just wanna know, I know you guys said season three was murky. Did they completely change their writing team? And that was the issue with season three? Or was it because they didn't know what they were going to do for season three is why it's going this way because they feel like the whole season three writing has completely changed and i'm just trying to figure this out but it was a way better episode than last week last episode i i i will admit that it was a way better episode than um last episode but it's still dragging so i really don't know what to expect um Sick of some of the drama. It's gonna be interesting how you bring this three-way drama between Lucifer, Chloe, and Pierce to the um the forefront, I guess. So, with that being said, if you enjoy my reaction, please remember to like the video, hit that subscribe button, leave your comments in the comment section. Guys, a like, a sub, a comment, a share of this video it goes a long way. Expand this channel. I thank you guys so much for your support. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.